Guys, it's your boy Clem with the Mo Masayo back with some more Guardian Tales content. And today we have news on the upcoming KR update, and it's a little bit interesting compared to the other updates because we don't have a unique hero to talk about. Instead, we do have a couple of other lower grade new heroes coming to the game and more, including everyone's favorite event. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, you know what time of the week it is. It's time to take an early look at the KR update. For those of you new to the channel, this update is essentially about two weeks out from global, okay? So everything we're gonna talk about here, you're gonna see in roughly two weeks. So don't go to the comments asking, when am I gonna see this stuff, okay? Two weeks, two weeks from the time that you're seeing this video, more than likely, you will be a day away from the update that we're actually talking about right now. All right, so we're taking a look into the future, and the future holds never a girl looking for a dragon. A brand new two-star hero has been added. I know we just recently got Battle Ball Girl Yuri. I still haven't gotten her, but we also have a brand new light element dragon hunting hero. And we're going to drop another video in just a few going over her skills and translating all them pictures and all that kind of thing. So I'm going to drop a video on that in just a second. But that's pretty cool. We're getting another new rare hero added. I said I wanted more in my last summons video. And we're also getting a new regular one star hero to be added. Now, the only thing about this is those one star heroes are unusable. The sprites don't change. There's really no motivation to use those guys. So, I mean, that's more of a just adding a little bit more depth to the game, putting some more, some more of the story characters back into the game, okay? So, the new Labyrinth season is going to be the Earth Element. So, we've already done Dark and Light. The next one is going to be the Earth Element. So, those of you rocking Mono Earth teams, rejoice. I know majority of the players playing the game have a bunch of Earth Element heroes, all right? New collections for new uniforms or costumes, I should say have been added to the game. Unfortunately, that pretty, pretty floating Christmas theme that has been covering your beautiful heaven hold for the past couple of weeks will be gone on December 31st if you are in the KR servers. If you are in the US or the global servers, then it should be like January 14th, I believe is when you're gonna see this particular update, okay? Um, they also added another note that once you max out your uh, guardian points, then they do start to turn to gold at a 50 to one ratio. So that is actually pretty damn good and a nice way to, you know, kind of add on to the gold production that you get in the game. Cause right now it's pretty steep and you really can't limit break the items that you can buy from the shops and stuff like those shields and stuff with the gold very easily. So that'll be a little bit more helpful once you get up to guardian level 300, I believe is the max limit. Um, here are a couple of different packages we're gonna be getting. So if you are a pay to win player, rejoice, you have more hot deals coming your way, guys. Um, and of course, we're gonna have a new year's event and this is the hype part of the update, damn it. We got 50 free summons event, everyone's favorite event, bro. We got 50 free freaking summons coming again. That's gonna be 10 summons for free on the banner of your choice for five days when this event rolls around, guys. It's also gonna come with a roadmap event for the new year, but the 50 free summons is hype because they're gonna have several different pickup heroes going at the same time, similar to what we saw with um, Beth. We're gonna have probably have about three or four different pickup going at the same time time of older heroes guys i'm not going to add a brand new hero in this one i'm suspecting the next update we're going to see is probably going to be the first season two update so i'm super super hyped for that and that's probably why we're not seeing a lot of action and new heroes being added on this one because they won't make sense with the actual story of what's going on in the game we got garum when we got the nightmare world eight and we got beth when we had to unveil kind of what the invaders had going on all right so 
We have the Guardian Pass. I like this Guardian Pass. I'm probably actually gonna get this one because Grimmery's exclusive weapon is in it. And if you don't know, Grimmery has a very unique skill. She does have a poison DOT, a damage over time. So she will be able to add a little bit more variety into your gameplay in Guardian Tales if you haven't really been hip to Grimmery. My boy Powerful Shammy can tell you all about her because he is a dark main and he's the homie. And I'm a dark main now too. So I'm here. But appreciate you guys for tuning in. As always, I'll do this for the Wolf Pack. Let me know down in the comments below what is the most hype part of this update for you. I already know it's going to be the 50 free summons, but we have.